Hey, my name is Austin. Austin. And my name is Luke. Luke. We're, We're doing, doing this thing called Good Game Time, and, time and we hope you enjoy it. Let's go. Go. Hello, this is Good Game Time. That's why Luke and I'm Austin. And What's we're, up? We're gonna chase after this uh, fucker. All right, what were you gonna say, Luke, about tomatoes? Oh, so that burger that I just had. Yeah, the disgusting one. Yeah, the disgusting one. Um. Oh, that's just. I bit into it, expecting it chicken, yeah. and immediately it didn't taste like chicken. Yeah. And I was like, okay, this is weird. But it still was a chicken burger, right? No, 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 it was a burger. Oh, it was an actual burger? Like an actual burger burger. Oh, I thought you were just like no. complaining about the chicken burger. No, 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 oh, it was a, it was a burger. Oh, he's right here. All right. And cool. I was like, what the fuck? And then there was something stringy attached to it. Whoa. I'm like, is there cheese in this? Well, and I, what? maybe uh, somebody else got a funky burger too. Someone else probably got my burger. Yeah. Uh, it was weird because the manager was there too. Like yeah, he was like, making sure everything went as planned. <laughs> Order so. for Luke? Oh, that that goes on my thing that I was saying earlier. Their main criteria is just that he looks like Dave. Not, you know, not that he's actually competent or anything. No, just, you know, he has to look like the guy. Uh, continue? So what ends up happening is that... I butt into it, I'm like, why is it so fucking stringy? <laughs> it's meat. No! <laughs> it's a tofu burger. As I'm finishing the burger, it's attached to a tomato. Yeah. I somehow ripped off the skin of the tomato and I was eating it. I'm like, okay, this is completely turns me off from the burger. Yeah. And since I already finished my drink, I have nothing to wash it down with. Oh, ew. There's yeah. water upstairs if you want. Yeah, it just tastes- it just tastes like... ...bad tomato. Well, that's- that's shitty. What's a tomato pun? Oh. Uh, you wanna hear a tomato pun? Sure. So the mama tomato and a papa tomato... ...and a, a little baby tomato are all walking along. I don't think that's gonna work. What? What do you mean? He's like frozen or something. <laughs> Weird. What the fuck? Uh, that was weird. Anyway, mama, t mama, papa, and little child tomato are all, uh, walking along. And the, uh, baby tomato is falling behind. And so- Fuck off, cunt! What the hell? And so... The papa tomato stops, turns around, and stomps on the little baby tomato and says, Ketchup. Oh my god. Oh. That's from Pulp god. Fiction. Uh, say what again? <laughs> say what another motherfucking time. Where am I going? Oh yeah, it's a rock- Okay, watch this, watch this. There You're once like was this. a young lady named Claire, who possessed a magnificent pair. Well, that's what I thought, till I saw one get caught on a thorn and began to lose air. Oh my gosh. That's... funny. God damn it. Fuck! Tell me more rhymes, Luke. Tell me more. There once was a man from Madras, whose balls were made out of brass. In storm weather, they clang together and sparks fly out of his ass. Oh my god. Alright, I can do this. There once was a young lady named Hitchin, who was scratching her crotch in the kitchen. Her mother said, Rose, it's the crabs, I suppose. She said, yes, and the buggers are itching. Uh, watch this, watch this. Don't they congratulate you for cleaning their star? Yeah, and give me a star. It's like, why are you withholding stars from me, bitch? There we go. You just took the star out of their star. Oh damn! Is that a is that an innuendo? No, I just think it's disappointing. Wait, why is it disappointing? Because now they don't have a star. What do you? The star's right there. I, I've actually gotten that star before, not on the show, but before, like, in my other game, uh, without the rocket nozzle, and it's like, God, fuck, how am I supposed to get that? Without knowing the rocket nozzle was supposed to be... <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, what are you looking up? There once was a plumber from Lee who's plumbing his his girl by sea. She said, "Stop your plumbing. There's somebody coming." Said so the plumber, still plumbing. It's me. So Super Mario Sunshine is a pretty fun game, you know. I'm ignoring him now. If you don't understand that, he can't hear this. It's just for you. Um, that was a good one. That was that was right funny. T tell me more, Mr. DM. Okay, stop. There once was a young man from Kent whose rod was so long it bent. So to save himself trouble, he bent it in double. Instead of coming, he went. Um. <laughs> Well. There once was a man from Bel Air who was doing his wife on the stair, but the banister broke, so he doubled his stroke and finished her off in midair. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Holy, <laughs> impressive commitment! Damn, dude. A Where'd strange you find young these? fellow from Leeds rashly swallowed a package of seeds. Great tufts out of fine grass sprouted out of his ass, and his balls were covered with weeds. Well then. Um, there was this. There was a young man from Brighton who thought he had a last. Ah, oh, fuck. What? What are we gonna say? I wasn't gonna say anything. I'm just letting you do your thing. Meaning, continue with your stupid jokes. There was a young sailor named Bates who danced the fandango on skates, but a fall on his cutlass has rendered him nutless and practically useless on dates. Oh my gosh. That's funny. So, all of these levels can do the 100 coin cha challenge, and I'll get a coin from it. Did you know that? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice! It's, it's it's pretty cool. It just, it takes a lot of time, and it's kind of useless. It's just like a, oh yeah, I did the 100 coin challenge on all of them. Did you do the 100 day new flap challenge? <laughs> Alright, let's get this fucker into the water. There once was a young fellow named Paul, who couldn't rely on his ring piece at all. When he sat on the loo, it went oh, slightly askew and splattered some poo on the wall. Oh my gosh. There, there we once, go. There's there was more. an old man from Gosham, who took out his balls to wash him. His wife said, Jack, if you don't put him back, I'll stand on the fuckers and squash him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> savagery. <laughs> Absolute savagery. There once was a last name Louise. Whose cunt smelt like Limburger cheese. Oh she leaked God. so much grudge that that she punched that she purchased the sponge that stopped up his Oh god, never mind. I was just about to say my Nana's name is Louise. Oh. Oh I'm sorry, Louise. Yeah. There's a young man from Bombay who shagged 20 chickens a day. He wouldn't stop fucking till they all started clucking. Then he'd eat all the eggs that they lay. Oh my <laughs> Holy shit! Talk about it. Um, uh, uh, Never mind. I don't even know what that would be called. There was a young lady named Sapphire who succumbed to her lover's desire. She said, "It's a sin, but now it's in. Could you share it a few inches higher? Could you shove it in a few inches higher?" Oh, oh my god. god! There was a young girl from Hong Kong whose cervical cap was a gong. She said with a yell as a shot ran her bell, "I'll give you a ding for a dong." These are awful. Just please stop. <laughs> there was a young lady from Reno who lost her cash. Oh, there we go. There's some coins. So she laid on her back, opened her crack, and now she owns the casino. Uh, well then, um, I'm just gonna continue with this level because I don't want to listen to this. There anymore. was a young girl named Denise whose pubes hung down to her knees. The crabs got together to knit her a sweater, so it went to her tap her twat. Would have I'm bruised. unbelievably done with these jokes. <laughs> Are you? So done. I want to hear more. No! Okay, I'll get more. I'll get different ones. Oh. Uh, okay. No. You know what? Feck you. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go into my notes for GGT and, and figure something out. Um. No, that's passwords. I need that. Uh. uh, uh. Whoa! I think. Uh, 
but where is he? There he is. Come back here, little fuck. No, I don't want to go. No, don't let me. He's escaped from his little whatever. There we go. I think I got it. R oh my gosh, remember always be kind to your pets. <laughs> little, little, uh, little message to the kids. Don't pull on your, um, like, pets' tails. That's cute. That's, that's downright cute. There we go. There we go. There we go. Go, go, go. Let's Mexican say magician stuff. says he'll disappear on the count of three. He says, uno, dos, poof. He disappeared without a trace. I don't get it. <laughs> uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Yeah. He disappeared without a trace. Oh! Ha! 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 That's funny. I laughed at that I have that a Polish one. friend who's, who's, sound, who's a sound technician. Oh, and a check one, two. Check one, two. Check one, two. Oh. No. 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 <laughs> have you heard of Murphy's Law? Yes. Yeah, anything can go can go wrong will go wrong, right? Sure. What about Cole's Law? Oh my gosh. Pretty delicious. <laughs> yeah, it's a thin sliced cabbage dripped in mayonnaise and sour cream. Luke. The Secret Service just changed protocol for when the president is in danger. Instead of yelling, get down, they have to yell, Donald Duck! <laughs> 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 oh boy. Alright, so... The lo name of this level is, uh, Pietissimo, Crazy's Climb, number two. Pientissimos! I haven't actually done number one yet. What? It's on a different level, but I haven't done it yet. Wh what? Yeah, I, I haven't done it yet. I have to race this guy to a, a flag, um, in, in, uh, the beach one. So there are people in this. But that guy's just wearing the skin of one of the people. Yeah, he's actually in Zelda. He's the running man, or the mailman. Is he really? Yeah, I have to, so I have to beat 30 seconds. Um. Why is he so much faster than you? Is he? What the fuck? Yeah, I just beat him. Um, hey, remember when we went to sushi? Yeah. Um, and... And, uh, on their iPads? We could flick, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to explain that story? I don't remember it. You remember the whole story? Okay. So, we were at, uh, one of our favorite sushi places. And, uh, this is just after they'd opened. And so, <coughs> they use iPads as their uh, ordering service, so we don't actually have to talk to anybody. So, we realized that they hadn't installed, like, the safety protocol so that it only accesses one app. Oh, yeah. And, um, Ow. you remember it now? Yeah. Just yeah. go on, just keep going. And so... We had flicked right, and, uh, <coughs> we could see people's text messages that were connected to the iPad. So, there was, like, three people connected to this iPad. <laughs> and it didn't change the fucking account. <laughs> oh, fuck this. Um, and we had, we, uh, we as a collective saw some pretty nasty, uh, text messages. And not, like, mean or anything. They were just very sexual. And, like, these are with people that don't exactly understand English. So, they were kind of funny. And just I want absurd. in my ass! I want big black cock. Big black cock good. Holy I want shit, big was it awful. Cock. Oh, fuck, I oh can't go God. through that. That was, that was terrible. I wonder, like, what they were thinking when they figured out that 
people could see and had probably and not them knowing but had seen their texts they must have just why would they use the same fucking account oh boy this is what i'm wondering why i don't even know dude i don't even know but they did and uh it it served for a pretty funny story oh yeah um when Asians get their raunchy on. Yeah, I didn't even know you guys could do that. The other day, my wife asked me oh God, to pass no her joke. lipstick, but I accidentally passed her a glue stick. She still isn't talking to me. <laughs> what happened to the man running in front of the car? Um, I don't know. He was tired. What happened to the man running behind the car? Um, I don't know. He was exhausted. Oh my gosh. Yeah, anything else? Any more? How does a rabbi make his coffee? Um, I'm unaware of how that is done. He brews it. He brews it. Stephen Wright has some great jokes. Oh yeah, he's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. I once bought some used paint. It was in the shape of a house. <laughs> yep, I, I actually living... saw him in. Really? Uh, he he was at the Sanderson Center. Really? Yeah. So you went and saw him? Yeah, with my mom. That's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. I plan on living forever. So far, so good. <laughs> when I was a child, we had a sandbox. It was a quick sandbox. I was only a child. Eventually. <laughs> a man walks into a library and orders fish and chips. The librarian says, This is a library. The man says, Oh, sorry. Then in a whisper, I'd like some fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I've actually heard all these from him. Dr. Dr. Frankenstein hosted or entered a bodybuilding contest. Upon arrival, he realized he misunderstood the objective. Shit. Fuck. Why do blind people hate skydiving? Why? It scares the hell out of their dogs. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn it. Uh, I don't. I'm upset that I fell. How can you spot a blind man at a nude beach? Um, how? It isn't hard. Oh! Fuck off! <laughs> oh shit, what time is it? What do you call a psychic, uh, a psychic little person who has escaped from prison? We're done. We're done this episode. And goodbye! Goodbye! We'll tell Next you the time on the Goopy Inferno. Yeah, we'll, we'll tell you the joke after. Goodbye.